Yes, so I hope you have tried it enough. So I have written the solution. Meanwhile, there was some disturbance, and uh, obviously the video quality has improved a lot now. So I have written the solution here. First of all, it is a PG exclusive, like I said, 27 a to the power 6 plus 10 a cube plus 1. Now, one way to look at it is uh, like if you assume a cube to be t, then you make a quadratic, but it is not factorizable at all. You have seen that it is not factorizable. So, we will use the mother of all identities that is p cube plus q cube plus r cube minus 3 p cube r. But the problem here is that you have three terms here and it requires four terms, which means two terms are actually of same degree and they are getting added and subtracted. So, our hunch is that it is this one because this is the only term which is not a perfect cube, right? So, what I have written here, this is a perfect cube, this is a perfect cube. I have added one perfect cube here and then I have written minus 3, 3a square from here, 1 from here and ap from here. So, what is the coefficient of a cube now? a cube is p cube minus 9p, right? You can see p cube is coming from here. Minus three p is uh, minus nine p is coming from here. Now, what do we have here? P q minus nine p is uh, is equal to ten. So I have solved it here for you. P q minus nine p equal to ten. P is equal to minus two is one solution. In the last lecture, we have seen this thing that such cubic equations can be solved using hit and trial. But obviously, while using hit and trial, we will see that the things which are being hit are divisors of this, right? Rational root theorem, integer root theorem, which we discussed in the previous lecture. So, I put p equal to minus 2, it is hitting and hence p is equal to minus 2. So, our final thing is this, right? Now, when I factorize it, a cube, uh, so p q plus q q plus r cube minus 3 p q r, p plus q plus r, p square plus q square plus r square minus p q minus q r minus p r, okay? And then you can see 4a square minus 3 square. You can add these numbers because they are the coefficient of same degree expression that is a square and this is your factorization. Now, the problem here is that such a beautiful expression was there, only three terms and now you are factorizing it and you are getting such a complicated expression. But that is the beauty of algebraic identities. It is a black box. When you open it, then only you can see if the expression is good or bad, right? So, we have factorized it using a q plus b q plus c q minus 3 p q r. This identity is really, really beautiful. And the reason why I call mother of all identities, because there are lot of problems based on this identity, which are made, uh, like which require a lot, lot, lot more thinking than usual problems. This is one. And second, it is not always very easy to see that this identity will be applied. So, see like just, just think of it, you are watching algebraic identity lecture, you have just done a cube plus b cube plus c cube minus 3 a b c and after that, you are able to think that okay sir, we need to use this identity. But if this question comes directly in your exam, then you will not be able to think it properly. That is my assumption, right? So, you can note it down and write done when it is done in your notebook. This is a good problem, like I said, PJ exclusive. I made this problem just now and this problem is very, very amazing, okay? Now, let us go, let's, uh, go on to the next problem. So, this was to... Uh, Actually, this was one such problem. In fact, you must not have written it, but it, it was one such problem, which is, uh, which I think is very, very relevant, but it cannot be asked directly in Olympiad. So, what kind of problem can be asked in Olympiad? I told you completing the square is a very, very important tool. So, we are going to do a very basic problem next, which is asked multiple times in IOQM using different form, uh, using different types, okay? So, let us do this problem and I am going to make it simple, simple for you, right? Given a b belongs to natural number, given a b belongs to natural number and a square 
plus b square plus 4 is equal to a b plus 2 a plus 2 b plus 3. See, I have written 4 here and I have written 3 here. I could have just written, I could have simply written, uh, written it as 1, but I, I did not do it. I did not do it. J it is done just to make it simple for you, right? Find number of ordered A comma B satisfying satisfying above expressions, right, above expression, right. This is the problem which needs to be solved. I am going to give you two minute head start and then we will see the formal solution of this, right. Let me give you two minute of head start, okay. Let me give you two minute of head start. Do it now. Last 50 seconds. Okay, guys, let us see, let us see, let us see now. Perfect. So, see, now the identity here is very simple. If you write it as, if you write it like this, 4 is 2 square minus AB minus 2A minus 2B equal to 3. So, you know that this becomes half of A minus B square plus A minus 2 square plus B minus 2 square right equals 3. So, a minus b square plus a minus 2 square plus b minus 2 square equals 6. So, this is what you have got. Now, just imagine, just imagine if it would have been like this, if it would have been like this, then very easy solution was a equals b equals c equals 0. But it is coming out to be equal to 6. This is where we use this condition. A and B are natural numbers. A and B are natural numbers, which means these are perfect squares. Three perfect squares adding up to 6. Think, three perfect squares adding to 6. 0, 0, 4, no. 0, 2, 4, no. 2 is not a perfect square. 2, 2, 2, no. Not 2 is not a perfect square. 1, 1 and 4, 3 perfect squares adding up to 6, 4, 1, 1, 1, 4, 1, 1, 1, 4. This is how you solve it. This is the thought process. 
this is the thought process in algebra this will be the template to solve everything you get to the expression which you need to solve this is the expression which you need to solve and then think this is manipulation and then some manual work now let's do the final working right so like i said like i said we have reached up to this level right this is not usable 411144 i have solved it for you so that you can simply note it down in the first situation in the first situation a minus b whole square equal to 4 the solution comes out to be a minus b equal to plus minus 2 now we are not going to solve this the second one is beautiful a minus 2 whole square is 1 which means a minus 2 is plus minus 1 this gives a equals plus 1 and 3 b minus 2 whole square is plus minus 1 means b is also equal to 1 and 3 now in all these solutions you have to make sure that a minus b should give us plus minus 2 so these are the two solutions from first condition a equals 1 b equals 3 because a minus b is coming out to be minus 2 a3 b equal to 1 a minus b coming out to be 2 in the second 1 4 1 a minus b is plus minus 1 a minus 2 is plus minus 2 now when we solve this you are getting a equals 4 and a equals 0 since a was natural number 0 is automatically rejected you get a equals 4 b minus 2 equal to plus minus 1 b equals 3 and 1 now since a was uniquely 4 a was uniquely 4 you have to make sure that a minus b is plus minus 1 so you can only select b to be 3 because if you select b equals 1 a minus b uh, comes out to be 3 which is not possible so a minus b 1 b equals 3 a equals 4 b equals 3 so in this condition a equals 4 b equals 3 obviously if you see this initial expression a and b are symmetric so which means if you exchange a and b if you exchange a and b you do not get any different equation which essentially implies that if a equals 4 b equals 3 is one solution then automatically a equals 3 b equals 4 is another solution so in total you have four solutions and it is a three marker right in iuqm 2024 this type of expression came with geometry with geometrical touch in that problem we had to apply triangle inequality we had to apply triangle inequality right and this is the way to approach such a problem it can be asked in uh, the future also because it has already been asked three four times and i am of the opinion that this is this is something which is very very important right in fact you should remember it to the core okay so i hope guys you liked it if you do like it please do share it this is part of iuqm english course and uh, we are committed to uh, like completing this course for our new audience which is english audience uh, this course is primarily for those students who uh, like who cannot understand hindi lectures and uh, like in my opinion language should not be the barrier to like for beautiful mathematics right perfect so i hope you liked it if you do like it please do share it let's crack it